everybody welcome back again and thanks a lot for joining me yeah y'all know what that is 1860 henry <laughs> taylors of winchester virginia copy of an 1860 henry in 45 colt put my shirt sleeve up here ah if you watch the movie silverado Danny Glover carts around a Henry. You got to look. Same engraving that he's got in his. <laughs> Pretty cool stuff. Yeah, look at this wood. How nice is that? I mean, it is just beautiful, right? All them lines going through it. Shoot. Case colored hammer. Case colored lever. Bluing is just spectacular. Big old fat blade front sight. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. Right. Got a CCW class down here off to my left. This is my right. My phone is for whatever reason. I don't know if it's been doing it all long or not, but a lot of people have been messaging me and saying, is that a left-handed gun? Well, <laughs> no. Everything's mirror image in it, and it looks like I'm lefty, and I'm not. This is right, so um, <laughs> no harm, no foul. Anyway, uh, yeah, nice, uh, real nice Model 1860 Henry. Cool stuff. A lot of history with this. Civil War also. Um, good, good stuff. Let's see, uh, Henry's patent. Uh, October 16th, 1860. Very cool. All right. A little bit of a process here. So for those who, though, for those of you who don't, have never really seen one of these, very cool on how you load it. This tab right here. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like freedom, doesn't it? Anyway, this tab right here, you push it up. So you'll see a spring up in here. See it right there? And you'll get to this line right here. And there's a detent up on top, it pushes. You spin it over. And there you go, the whole barrel cants off to this one side right here. You see it right here. Yeah, this is where you load it. So. Let's uh, have a little fun. 45 Schofields. Uh, five grains bullseye, 200 grain lead round nose flat point, CCI primers. And of course, the bass brass in the business, in my opinion, Starline. Yeah, good stuff. When you're loading these up, don't hold it straight up and down. And just let these things slam on top of it. Ridiculous. I mean, there's no reason for it. Hold it off at a slight angle. Like this. They'll slide down and bounce, but they won't just jam in there. So that's how you do it. You just nice and easy. Yeah. I like Schofields. They're a lot of fun. Um, no matter what you're shooting, you can shoot it all day. And it ain't gonna it won't wear your shoulder out. 45 Colts really won't either, but uh, these Schofields, a lot of fun, a lot of fun to shoot. All right, I think I got like 14 in my pocket. And I could have probably got one more in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. I think there's 14. Anyway, that's how you can tell it's loaded. <laughs> Cool stuff. So you take your tab, you push it up, this will roll over, and just let that rest on there. Every time you cock it and shoot it, every time you shoot it and cock it, this lever drops down the length of a round. So it's just going to keep coming down, coming down. So when you're holding it up like this, your hand's going to be in the way. So you have to stop and move your hand and keep shooting. No harm, no foul. That's just stupid fun all right 
me get you guys some lead here. And I got a whole pocket full of 45 Colts. So this grass is kind of long. And I hope I don't lose any of my brass. I'm hoping. All right. 45 Schofields. I've been down just a hair, boy. And run these real close to my, my phone here. Put my eyeballs on so I can see. Look it. Heard it too. I tell them to keep the noise down. <laughs> Catch it on my earplug. Oh, my plate was swinging. Up, see that tab come down, hit me in the hand. So instead of holding it here, you got to move your hand out a little bit. Well, that's all right. Still fun. Up, oh, got one more. I think that was it. Yep. All right. I'm going to punch that because I ain't going to step on this brass and tear it up. But uh, I'm going to kick it off to the side. Be right back. All right, back at it here. Same thing. Put some 45 coats in there. Slide this old gear up. Give her a spin over. We'll drop in some coat bullets. Keep hitting my revolver. 45 coat bullets. 250 grain lead round nose flat points. <clears throat> Six grains of trail boss. I like trail boss. CCI primers and again, star line brass. That's right. Best brass in the business. I'm going to throw a bunch of these guys in here. Do it like this so y'all can see something. You can see it going down through there. Yeah, there it is. What a game changer this would have been if the Union Army had a bunch of these to begin with, right? <clears throat> and them guys could all afford a, a Henry or even a Spencer instead of a single shot uh, musket. Push it up. Slide it over. Let that come back in and rest. All right, here we go. Let's run these guys and I'll cut you loose. How about that? Yeah, missed that one. There it is. Blade is just out there, just sw <laughs> swinging everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Dang, I love to shoot. All right, there we go, Taylor's. Taylors and Company, man. Winchester, Virginia, 1860 Henry. Laser engraved, 45 Colts. Schofields, nice wood, nice engraving. Great finish. Woo! Did I mention it was nice? <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks a lot for joining me. I most certainly appreciate it. Subscribe, hit the like button. If you don't like it, tell me why. And uh, we'll go from there. How about that? In the meanwhile, these guys are all loading up more ammo down, way down there. You can, 
they're all around. There's like 15 of them. They're all around the bench, all bent over. So, you know, they're getting ready to put in some, fill up some magazines. So, before it gets too loud. I'll cut you face. Thanks again, again. Thanks again, anyway, folks. I do appreciate it. And I'm always walking over here. And you guys have a fantastic day. Thank you.